Hey everybody, I hope you're having a good day. This is Buddy Blackford. I'm going to go over what this little T checkbox means and it stands for Preserve Underlying Transparency. I'm going to show you how it works. I'm going to show you uh, how it doesn't work. So let's get on with it. It should be a quick tutorial and it should be awesome. And it'll be it'll come in handy actually if you uh, want to like learn to use it correctly. So we've got I made this text here and if you check out the text you can check out its alpha by clicking on this button here and see that it has an alpha. So that's something that we need. You can't use the preserve underlying transparency if you don't have alphas because alphas uh, are pretty much the basis of transparency. So we've got our text here that I put down and what th this button does is anything that's above it will go kind of like go back to the background and use the alpha to just of this uh, anything below it to cut out itself and it'll just show up within the text so I'll show you real quick if I bring down just some video footage and I'll just move oops, wrong one I'll just move this like somewhere to here or something like that and then I go to click on the uh, preserve transparency button you can see what it does now so that's simple enough this also works with uh, shape layers so if I go to create a shape here and oops whoa what the what did I just make there I didn't want it to be this big so I'm just gonna scale it down a little bit and that's fine I just wanted to show you shape and I take this shape layer and I bring it below the uh, footage that has the uh, preserve underlying transparency checked it's going to show up through there pretty much anything that has an alpha channel that you can use will uh, do this now a simple trick that or it's not a trick it's a simple like I would call it like a got ya I guess like you're working and you're like why isn't this working if you have a piece of footage that is that has no alpha at all, which I'll show you like this solid right here, it has no alpha. It's just all white. So when I try when I try to use the underlying transparency there, it's not gonna work because that white alpha there, it's going to encompass the whole entire thing so now everything that was in white is going to show up so the whole the whole video footage is going to uh, show up so if I uncheck on uh, or uncheck the uh, visibility here it'll work so you don't want to have anything that takes the alpha takes up the whole entire thing there so you may be wondering how this can be used in a real project. So I'm going to show you real quick how something like this might be uh, useful. So I'm going to delete out the shape layer. Don't need that. And I'm just going to keep the text. I'm going to delete out this um, the uh, video footage because I don't need that. You can. I'm going to move the solid up there, and you can use. Uh, things like solids and stuff like that to also preserve transparency so if I turn that on it's gonna work like that now I'm gonna unhide the vis or hide the visibility for a second and change up this to like something like this red and I'm gonna change the solid settings here so that the solid is more of a white color now I'm going to turn the solid back on so I can see and just create something like a square going across here like this and I'll go and I'll feather this out something like that and now I'll throw on the preserve transparency and I've got like this uh, this color like uh, coming through now you kind of you you can see how you can use that to make different types of effects and everything like that 
I, move, I could move this over to the middle or whatever I wanted to do here. Or I could animate it moving across like this to give like a highlighting effect. As you can see there. Like, that'd be, that'd be cool looking. And you're, you may be wondering how am I supposed to use this if I can't put a background underneath. So the way that you do that is you need to pre-compose these layers. So I'm going to put in a background real quick. It's just going to be a regular solid. And we'll make it like a black background or something. And that's going to be our background. Now everything's all screwed up. But the way to make this work is to pre-compose these layers that you have the uh, that you want the transparency to work on. So make sure you have both the layers clicked. Come up to layer, and come to pre-compose, and move all attributes into the new composition, and hit OK. And now, since everything is just working in this uh, pre-comp here and doesn't have any background underneath it it's going to work correctly in in a, a composition where there is a background so in your pre-comp is where you're going to want to maybe animate this going across and then it'll anything within this pre-comp will uh, happen within in the same time frames that the uh, uh, within this uh, other composition hopefully that makes sense to you guys well, that's the end of the tutorial there. Um, pretty basic on how to use this button. If you're ever wondering what it was for or anything like that, now you know. So go ahead and put it to use in one of your projects. Everybody, I hope you're having a good day, and I look forward to seeing your comments on the uh, next tutorial. Have a good one.